So what bike is right for you? Today we're here at Full Cycle and we're gonna look at what bikes they have in stock. We're gonna cover trail bikes, we're gonna cover enduro bikes, we're gonna cover all mountain bikes, um, and hopefully help you sort of figure out what mountain bike is the right mountain bike for you. Because I know it can be kind of overwhelming, there's a lot of options, we're gonna cover all budgets and all styles, so let's get into it. So just to make this a little bit easier for you, I'm gonna throw bikes into three different categories. There's gonna be trail, all mountain, and enduro. Trail bikes, I sort of equate with having anywhere from 120 millimeters to 140 millimeters or 150 millimeters of travel. All mountain bikes are in the 140 to 160 mil range, and then enduro bikes are in the 150 to 170 mil range. So first things first, we're gonna take care of the trail category. Starting off with the Kona Mahuna. This is a great entry-level hardtail. Um, it's got a RockShox air fork with compression adjustment. It has hydraulic disc brakes, Maxxis tires, and routing for internal dropper post. This is a great option if you don't wanna break the bank. And if you decide you get really into mountain biking and wanna make some upgrades, it's a great platform to do that on as well. So next up in the trail category, we have the Norco Fluid FS2. This is a great bike for those looking for something a little bit more advanced, those who have been mountain biking for a little bit longer. Um, it's got things like a few more adjustments on the fork. We got a Marizoki Zen 2 up front. We have a Fox Float X with rebound and lockout in the back. Um, comes with a dropper post, as well as hydraulic brakes, the Shimano SLX XT drivetrain. Um, this is a great platform again that you can upgrade over time as well. So this is a great option for somebody who's looking to upgrade their existing mountain bike or who may have started a couple years back and is really looking to start spicing things up on the trail. So if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced than the fluid, you can look at the Norco Optic. This is a fantastic, I would almost say like all mountain trail bike that I own myself. It's got a RockShox Pike up front. It's got a super deluxe specifically tuned DH shock for the rear, which is extremely supple and super progressive. Um, you can get into a lot of trouble with this bike because you have so little travel, but it is so capable, and that's what I love about it. You also have SRAM code hydraulic disc brakes for a lot of stopping power. You also have a full SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain. So this bike is honestly super amazing. So to close out our trail bike category, we have the Juliana Furtado. This is on the higher end of the trail bikes. It is a 140 in the front, 130 in the back, bullet wheeled bike, which means there's a 29 inch wheel in the front and a 27 five inch wheel in the back. Theoretically, it's a little bit more flickable in the corners, but you still get that rollover of the 29 inch wheel in the front. Um, it's got a RockShox pike up front. It has Fox suspension in the rear, rebound, compression adjustment, all the fun stuff. It also comes equipped with SRAM brakes as well as a full NX Eagle drivetrain. Yeah. Another cool thing about Santa Cruz bikes and Juliana bikes is they have a storage compartment in the down tube where you can hide all kinds of cool things like tools, bananas, all that jazz. So now we're gonna get into the all mountain category and we're gonna kick things off with the Norco Torrent. This is a steel frame hardtail Again, with RockShox air suspension, as well as hydraulic disc brakes, dropper posts, and a rock solid Shimano Dior drivetrain. This is a great bike for quote unquote purists who love the old ways of mountain biking, but want something a little bit more modern and gnarly. It's got full on modern geometry. It's super slack, it's super long, um, and ultra capable steel hardtail. So if you're looking to spend a little bit more money and get something in the full suspension range, Norco offers the Sight. This is another fantastic option for an all-mountain bike. It's got 160 mils of travel in the front, 150 out back. Again, it's super slack, super long, really yeah. confidence inspiring. I personally have owned a couple of these and I think it might be my favorite bike out there. Um, it has Fox suspension front and back with compression adjustment, rebound adjustment, as well as Shimano SLX hydraulic brakes, as well as a Shimano XT SLX drivetrain that is also rock solid. Last up in our all-mountain category, we have the Santa Cruz Hightower. It is a 29-inch wheeled, 150, 140 mil travel bike. It has rock shock suspension in the front, box suspension in the rear. It also has the storage compartment in the down tube, as well as a full SRAM 12-speed Eagle drivetrain. And it also, in my opinion, has probably the nicest paint job out of any bike in the shop.
So we're gonna finish things off with the ever popular and ever growing enduro mountain bike category. And we're gonna start with the Forbidden Dreadnought. This bike has 154 mils of travel in the rear and 170 mils of travel in the front. What makes this thing unique is it's got a high pivot suspension design. So what the high pivot does is it allows the bike to have a more rearward axle path. So that makes the rear wheel lift up and over square edge hits much easier and essentially erases bumps. All right, so last up in our enduro mountain bike category, we've got the Santa Cruz Mega Tower. It's got 170 millimeters of travel up front and 165 millimeters of travel out back. It's got a full SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain as well as the ever coveted down tube storage compartment. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you and I hope everyone's super stoked to get out on the trails. Um, I wanna say a big thanks to Full Cycle for letting me come in and take over their space. I also wanna say a huge thanks to Brady Sydney, who's helping me film some of my videos this summer. Um, we're hoping to bring you some stuff that's a little bit more engaging, a little bit more like this, a little less POV. Well, probably the same amount of POV because it's easy to do. Uh, but yeah, so you can check Brady out. He also has a YouTube channel at uh, Brady Sydney, and you can also check out his video and photo Instagram at shot by Brady. I'll leave links to everything down below in the description. But yeah, if you have any questions about the bikes, um, feel free to hit me up in the comments below or find me on Instagram. You know I'm reachable. Anyways, I'll see you out on the trails and can't wait to get out riding with y'all. Cheers.